welcome back in today's video we will see a demonstration on how you can create a twisted tower using massing in conceptual design environment so we would like to create a tower which looks like this uh, in conceptual design environment and then we'll transfer it to the project environment to add some floors roof and curtain walls so let's see what are the building parameters available to us so the basic geometry of the building is it's a square with a size of 40 meter by 40 meter and with a chamfer cut of 5 meter on each of the edges next the height of the building should be 200 meter twisted angle should be 45 degree as it is a twisted building number of floors we need is 40 so let's switch to Revit and see how we can start so first of all let's go and click on file new and then go to conceptual mass select metric mass dot rft file click open now here you will see two reference planes and vertical and the third reference plane on the horizontal position so for the first of all to create our geometry we'll go to floor plan level number one so as we know our size should be 40 meter by 40 meter so let's see our unit is in millimeter so let me ch change the unit to okay let it be in millimeter only so let's go back and create the square geometry so we click on rectangle from the sketch option and then I would like to make this square shape with a proper dimension and in a symmetric way so for that I will add some dimension starting from this middle reference plane to the right edge then from middle reference plane to the left edge similarly I'll do the same thing on the top and bottom to see this dimension in some bigger form let me go and change the scale value so let it be 1 is to 500 okay so next right now you can see it is 20,000 something so let me select press tab and select the right edge and then click on this dimension and make it 20,000 so this side become 20,000 20, millimeter or 20 meters next we go to the other side press tab click and then 20,000 okay so now you can see the entire this side becomes 40 meters or 40,000 millimeters let's do the same thing on the bottom so let's select this press tab click and then 20,000 next we select the other end and then 20,000 next as per the requirement we need to create a chamfer which is 5 meters or 5000 millimeter on all the edges so for that let me go and take a line so let it be 5000 and next another one will be again 5000 and let's add a diagonal line between these two points once added I will delete these two lines and then I will make a mirror on the other edges so let me select this edge and then click on mirror click on the midpoint and the second point so you added a mirror here and then to copy it on the other side I can mirror these two reference edges on the other side so let me click mirror that's it now in order to trim it to make it fast I can directly delete this one and then I can select the line option and very fast we can join them together so once done let me switch to the 3d view so go to default 3d view and then select the sketch which you have drawn just now and go to form create form and then click on solid form so as we know the height of the building should be 200 meters so let me go and click 200 and then millimeters all right so it becomes 20,000 millimeter or 200 meters next we have a parameter the twisted angle of the building is 45 degree now for that we need to select carefully select the top face of the building now to select the entire face we need to press 
tab. So click it one more time. That's it. Select the top face. Now go to modify option. Click on rotate. And give the angle to 45. That's it. So now you can see the tower is being twisted. So we have finished one part. So let me save this file. We can save it as a family. So I can go to the folder Revit, families, I can create a new folder called conceptual design environment, massing. Inside this, I can create, I can save this as twisted tower. Once saved, now I need to take this model to the project. So for this, what we can do is we can start a new project. I'll take an architectural template, click OK. Now, I would like to bring my twisted tower from the conceptual design environment to the project environment. For that, I will go to, OK, let me close all the inactive views from the quick access toolbar first. And then I'll click on the switch to windows. And then you, here you will see twisted tower.rfa family. So let's go there. And then once done, we can click on load into project. So what it will do, it will take the mass from the conceptual design environment to the project environment. So let's do that. So once done, I can click it somewhere in the middle and then press escape to come out of the command. Next, let's go and click on the 3D view to see how our building will look like from in 3D. So let's click on the default 3D view. Now, right now, it is. It, uh, it looks like a little uneasy, so let's go and change it to realistic view. And press Shift and Orbit. Now you can see this how your building looks like. Now next, I would like to add some levels. So first, let's go to the east elevation view or the south elevation view, and we'll see how many levels already are present. So as we know, by default, there are two levels are present. Now in this building we need to add 200 uh, we need to add 40 floors at a height of 200 so what I mean is uh, the building height is 200 meter and the number of floors we want is 40 so each level will be 5 meters in height so for that what I will do first of all I will adjust level number 2 I'll let it be 5000 now next what we will do we need to add some more levels. So as we have seen in the previous videos, uh, we will use to add more number of levels. We will, will not make it in a one by one. We will do it array. So let's select one of the level and then I can go to array. So already one we have and then including this, I need 39 levels. Enter and then select the, f I don't want to group and associate. So select the first floor and then Sorry, select the second floor and then we click 5000 and then you can see it added 40 levels here so our levels are added so go to 3d view next now I would like to add some mass flows to this particular mass so for that I will select the conceptual mass and then here from the modify mass option you can see mass floor so click on mass floor and then select all the floors in which you want to add the flo mass floor so let me select level 1 and then I'll go down press shift key select level number 40 and then we can check mark so all the levels will be selected right now I want to create mass floor on all the levels so click OK great so now you can see the mass floors is been added to the mass next if you see this mass floor is just a reference plane only so it's not an actual floor next what we are going to do we need to convert this mass floor into an actual floor so for that okay now it is being little bit getting hanged so let's click on the visual style and let me be shaded so it will increase the graphical performance so next 
to convert it into a actual to convert the mass floor into actual floor we go to massing inside tap select floor by face and then select all the mass floors and then click on create flow so now you can see if i zoom it you can see that you can see the thickness of the floor so this is the actual floor which has been created on the mass floors next we would like to okay before creating the curtain wall what i want is i want to hide the mass floor so for that the easiest way is we can select everything and then click on filter and click on check none and then just select mass floors apply and right click hide in view and then elements next so once the mass floor is hidden now next what i want is i want to i would like to add some curtain wall to add the curtain wall on this face i would like to go to massing inside again and then curtain system select curtain system now select one by one all the okay except the roof so select one two then the third fourth face fifth face sixth face and then seventh and the last one the eighth one once all the faces are selected you can click on create system you have to wait a minute So now you can see the curtain walls are being added to the face of the building. Next, I would like to add the last part is to adding the roof on the top. So for that, again, we go to massing and site and then click on roof. Select the top face and then cl click on create roof and then press escape to come out of the command. Now go to visual style, click on realistic. And now you can see our twisted tower is ready. If you'd like to see the sh shadow effect, you can go to view control bar and then I can click on the shadows. So as you can see now, our building is ready with the help of conceptual design environment. Thank you very much.